in Nigeria, in time of peace in this Nigeria, what do we need? We need the Bible, we need the Savior, we need Jesus. He's the only one who can save us. As a listening, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Be very, be very 
show Yo and go home And greet the sunny road It's right in Jesus Yes, it's the one It's right in Jesus The only one Personal it. I'm very sure. I'm very sure. I'm very sure. My uncle holds and reads the sunny road. Father, we thank you because we have an uncle, and that is Jesus. We have an anchor and we cannot be swept away by the storms, by the winds, by the challenges of this end time. Thank you because we have a solid rock and our anchor is hanging on that solid rock and that is Jesus. Thank you because there is nothing coming our way that does not have a solution. Thank you so much, Lord, because you love us. You have never cast us away. You have never forgotten us. I pray, oh Lord, that in your mercy you will help us to align ourselves unto you, to walk in your very steps. This morning, Lord Father, I pray that your word will come to us and Lord bless our hearts. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning church. In these remaining weeks in this month of October. We'll be looking at the theme for the month. And the focus of the theme for the month is in his steps. What do I call it? In his steps. So in his steps is the guiding word for the month. And um, trusting God that the Lord Jesus will grant us grace to walk in his steps. Now when we talk about in his steps. If you see someone who walks at the beach. If you have been to the beach and um, you walk on the beach, there will be footprints as you walk on the beach. Or a very dusty place, there will be footsteps, footprints of such a person who has gone ahead. And um, if you are not sure, whether someone has passed through this place if you are not sure what really happened where did that person pass through there is something that can guide you to be able to get to the same destination if you can see the footprints of such an individual 
So when we talk about footsteps, we are talking about footprints. That you walk in the steps of the person that has gone ahead of us. We should remember that Jesus Christ is our high priest. He is our king. He is our Lord. And the Bible says when he came here, he came in form of a man. And that's why there was nothing too important, special for men to see him, to honor him, to understand who he was. The Bible says he was tempted. The word tempted there means that everything that we face today, he faced them. If it is temptation to sin, he was tempted. If it is temptation to give up, to surrender, he was tempted. If it's a temptation of hunger or thirst, he faced the same thing. If it is temptation of tiredness, weariness, Jesus himself said, the Bible said he was weary of his journey. Maybe there is a journey, the path that you are following, it seems that the more you walk is as if that there is no smoothness. There is a clog in the wheel of your progress. The Savior has passed through that road before. And he was able to pass through successfully. And that's why the Bible says that he has leave, left it, you know, an example for us to follow. We are in the age, just like the choir has given us a very beautiful rendition. You know, I'm a classical person. Any day, any time, if I have classical songs, you know, something is twisting my spirit. Amen. That in times like this, we are living at a time that there is every tendency for somebody to run haywire. There is everything that makes you to get out of the way. You want to join them. You want to make money at all costs. You want to be popular. You want to be known. You want to do everything. They will say it is survival of the fittest. But you don't understand that when you said survival of the fittest, you are saying that you are struggling to pull other people down so that you will be able to do what? To come up. So we are living at a time when there is selfishness everywhere, corruption everywhere, a lot of problems, challenges. It is because it is the end time. And mind you, it's not going to get better. Praise the Lord. Oh, some basic things can be put in place in your country. But you see, as you solve some problem, there are other challenges in other places. There are other challenges. There are challenges that the world cannot control. You cannot prevent epidemics. Am I right? You can't prevent, you know, sickness or what you call it, disease, you know, to come up. From one sickness to the other, from one disease to the other, one not disease to the other, the one you see is the one you see, another one will come. Because the Bible has told us that there will be pestilences in diverse places. We have read that in our Bible reading in the book of Matthew 24. The signs of the end time there will be diverse, you know, pestilences. A lot of things to begin to happen. There will be war. There will be rumor of war. We can see war from one village to the other, just in Oshun State, just last week, just in Lobu and another, you know, they were killing themselves. Just, they were just on what you look at the end of the day and say, they said, does this what to, uh, to terminate people's life? Is it land? Is it misunderstanding? You will see wars, even in the family. Husband and wife at war. And if care is not taken, you know, somebody can sniff life out of the other. There are wars, nation to nations, a lot of things. Even when you think that there is a kind of silence for a very long time, there is a kind of quietness between Pakistan and uh, Palestine and Israel. But just last week now, another, you know, war has started. When the Palestinians kill, you know, some, uh, 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 some Israelis, 
I saw a picture of we said they killed an Israeli soldier, the naked the, 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 the soldier, the Israeli soldier, and they began to celebrate. And you can be sure that Israel will retaliate. Maybe they killed some, maybe Israel has killed 200 naira, the 200 people now, and they are shouting. So, when you think that there's going to be peace, there will be another eruption of crisis. Why? It was one of the signs of the end time. And so, in times like this, when there is economic crunch, in times like this, when there is fear in the air, in times like this, when we have a lot of problems, you don't even know what is waiting tomorrow. It is only because we are Christian that we believe because Jesus is alive, we can face tomorrow. Is that not so? Now, what do we need to do? We have to walk in his steps. We have to walk in the paths that he has laid down. When we can walk in his steps, then we have a secured future. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even here unto were ye called. Can you see now? We are called into something. Say, this is what we are called into. When somebody says, born again, I give my life to Jesus, you are invited to a way of life. You are called into something. And what is that? He said, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps. That does not sound um, sweet. It's not sound. Does not sound good. Maybe what you are expecting in that uh, in scripture, if you are to rewrite it, you say you will have said that uh, this is what we are calling to that because Jesus Christ prospered. Eh? Jesus Christ was great. Jesus Christ, you know, prospered for us, and He has living all that the example that you should follow. In the path of prosperity that sounds good amen but he said jesus christ suffered for us and he left an example now it sounds that when somebody is born again it's like it's going to suffer is that, is that is not what me that's going to suffer then why are you complaining of suffering he said he left the example for us that we should follow in his steps but the truth of the matter is that the way that look like suffering is the way to glory the way of the cross is always the way to exaltation and that's why he said we should carry our cross daily and we should follow him now carry cross may not be funny carrying cross is not cheap but the way for us to enter into glory as the Lord our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ carried cross and died on the cross and of course he has entered into glory for us also to find our pathway to glory it is when we follow in that steps hallelujah But people don't want to hear that. The message of the cross is missing on the pulpits today. The message, you know, of being, I mean, suffering with Jesus. Paul, the apostles, was speaking to the church. And of course, it was a quiet prayer in his heart. He said that I may know him. I may want to know him power of his resurrection the power behind what raised what made jesus will be risen from the dead i want to know more about that power not because he was not experiencing the power but because the almighty god is not limited okay that power that raised jesus from the dead that power can also raise us that power can quicken us that power can turn every situation around that's why he said that i may know him and the power 
of his resurrection because when you experience the power of his resurrection in your life everything that is buried will come alive say amen but he went further if he has stopped there and said well good power of his resurrection there was a power and of course now today people will read that a part they will not read a b part and the part first he said and what and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death the fellowship of his suffering that is the way he suffered the kind of fellowship the communion you know that is adaptation or when you try to uh, uh, to relate the way he suffered said i want to know what made jesus christ to suffer not as god but as what talk to me as what as man he was a full man he wished at a time that the cross you pass over him just like you don't want to pass through a route because of the difficulty of the challenge you don't want it to happen but jesus said well it is not as i will there is a step that has been outlined so i have come in the multitude of books that were written concerning me i have come to do thy will O god i'm sure if you are reading the book of revelation you are going to come across that scripture praise god amen and that's why we said the book of revelation that we're reading now it is i know that that revelation that you are reading we are you know it is not palatable you don't understand something you just just don't worry just keep on reading praise god we'll come back to that shout hallelujah i later i thought that ah it's as if i give these people advanced level amen in the bible reading that maybe you should not even read revelation yet and read something else how many of you feel like that and said which one is this one eh? beasts four beasts the beasts led of leg of uh Kirikon and eye of lion what kind of this one what is he saying eh, Kirikon, the 24 elders uh-uh it is only angels we know that are, that are in heaven which one is the 24 elders who are these 24 elders eh? and the beast four beasts and the beasts you know that fly a lot of times what kind of thing is don't worry just read it praise god read it rule it your question write it who wants all the questions shout hallelujah i just shout hallelujah there are three parts to the book of revelation what has happened what was happening and what is going to happen hallelujah now from those book of revelation you begin to see what happened before jesus came it's just a revel of what happened what happened the discourse that was going on into heaven who can open this book who can remove the seal and open and read what is therein and the Bible said there was a quietness in heaven nobody was able to open the seal and read the book is that not so you have read that he's telling us of what happened before Jesus came that there is a suffering seal has to be opened and help human being needs help who will come and of course john did not know that it was a done deal all right now but it's just it was put in the kind of a revelation mode all right now that is what has happened and uh, he said and i wept because there was nobody to open the seal say and i wept so do you read it there said an angel came to me and said weep not because of what the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed it is in the past to open the seal and to read the book what is there in and that is the book contain all that jesus is going to face all that is going to suffer so it was a kind of what was going to heaven now it was contained in the book of revelation you see it is called revelation what has happened that you don't even know what is behind it you understand something now what is what's happening at that particular time and what is going to happen 
and so there are a lot of so many things you know to learn from revelation and that's why it is a book we call it you know that contain uh, uh, eschatological studies studies of the end time that we are talking about so i've given you one interpretation of what you have read praise the lord <laughs> amen and later you begin to read and uh, of course to the angels of the church a church of the arteria church of this that the angels of the church is the pastor in charge of the church the same word that is used for the angels in heaven is used for those who are ministers of god Ecclesi i mean you know it, you know uh the the, the, the angelos you know angels the ministers pastors are angels what's the meaning of angel servants so angel angel means servant they are servants in heaven to god we are servants on heart to god you understand now so when he said this letter was through to the angel to the angel in the church of pagamos writes so jesus is the one writing the letter and that letter is addressed to the pastor in the church of pagamos at that particular time tartaria uh, laudicia smyna ephesus and things like that they were physical churches then and all these churches were in the place called the Asia Minor. Praise God. The Asia Minor, that is where the churches were. And so the letter was rewritten by the Lord Jesus Christ to those pastors. Don't forget that that was the first spread of the church after the apostles. Are you following me? Maybe I'm answering some question before I continue my sermon. Amen. And so to the angel and when he said that and i saw seven golden candlesticks what did he say again seven golden candlesticks and what and seven what lamps thank you that was burning the seven golden candlesticks now the seven golden candlesticks is talking about the church the church is a light praise god the church is the light and that he was in the midst Abi, of the seven golden candlesticks he shows that jesus was in the midst of the church but by the time he got to the seven church the church in laodicea things have changed jesus was no longer in the midst what did you read there i am outside i'm knocking if any man hear my voice somebody was knocking is was he inside aha uh -huh. and you see these seven churches also represent that is physical church but the bible things that are written they are written for us so it was not only talking about those seven churches then on your right but he was talking about seven dispensation of the church history of church ages that is after the rapture when the church started when they when the church started uh, through the apostles and after the apostles immediately people will call the early church amen history tells so when you read about the church of the angels in the church of smyna that was a particular time that the person who was bishop uh, uh polycarp was the bishop in charge of church of smyna the man faced serious persecution so when you see that the church of Smyrna, what is said about the church of Smyrna, I know your labor, I know your deeds, how you are not going to tolerate the evil. You have tested those who call themselves apostles and you cannot bear, you found them liars. Is somebody following me? If you have not read it, you will read all those things. Praise God. And if you have not gotten there. Now, he was talking about that. Now, it was at that part, there was a particular time, the church of Smyrna was working stronger apart from the person those letters were written to the church kept on the history of the church they were persecuted the polycarp was the bishop of that church at a particular time and that was when the church was facing severe persecution again history tells us that they went to polycarp polycarp was a good man any christian any minister any child of god you are going to be good to the community is that not so your life everybody knew though the government through the help i mean let me say the uh, let me use the word the government now praise god because i'm online now let me say the government through the instrument though there is a kind of a coalition between uh the religious church okay then and the government 
persecuting the believer through believers in Christ and as they were doing that I mean that, that so because Polika was popular was a good man the church was going they were affecting the community then and they wanted to arrest Polika they are already now what happened is that many Christians were under persecution they have arrested them you know they were asking them to deny in like a like a stadium like a circus they wanted them to deny christ that if they don't deny christ they're going to burn them you know to stake they're going to kill them and things like that and all the believers that were arrested then they were undaunted they were ready to die praise god and they felt that it is because bishop polika is not around we remind that if bishop polika is around if polika denies jesus they have no choice it is because of their of, the, of, the, of their pastor all right their senior pastor their bishop everyone said go for polycap and they went to look for bishop polycap and when they got to polycap those soldiers were to arrest polycap they knew he was a good man and they said sir please run away i would we would tell them that we did not meet you polycap said no i'm going to follow you but just give me a few minutes to pray he was given time to pray and he followed them and when Polycarp got to you know can be you know where christ they have been a whole full place we are spectators people are there and they asked Polycarp, now Polycarp, we are giving you the last chance to deny jesus so that we can save a old man the Polica was around 80 years of age then they said deny christ and Polycarp said he mentioned the number of years maybe 450 and something years he said i have served him and he has not failed me for once why will i deny my lord and my savior jesus christ praise god and they said they are going to bond him to stake so bishop politkov was tied to the stake amen was tied to the stake and they put fire they burned him alive that is when he's talking about this is what we are calling to that jesus christ also suffered and he has left the example for us to follow but the point there is that you see the suffering differs are you listening to me the suffering differs in different ways but the question there now is that what are you suffering what is your own suffering at the moment that is not going to make you to walk in the steps of Jesus. Are you following me? Uh, you know, some people they are suffering is to die because of the testimony of Jesus. They were open to lions, hungry lions. They will bring them, they will open lion against them, running after them with their children, tearing their children, killing them, and so on and so forth. It was a circus. Something everybody just like. You know you are watching a cinema how the lion will grip them get their children tear their children kill the mother kill the father and so on and so forth what have you suffered for you what is your experience what are you passing through that want you to deny the faith what is that thing that is taking you from the love of christ what is that persecution that you are facing he has said that there in this journey there is a journey jesus christ we are called into christ he has suffered for us and he has left us an example that we should follow in his steps it is not only the prosperity in christ we are to celebrate but even the suffering in christ if you look at the acts of the apostles that you have read when the apostles whether they should style them they beat them did you read it if they did a lot of things the bible said they will come back they will have joy in their heart that they were able to do what to suffer with christ praise the lord your own is on girl because now it is 101 or it is 1001 or 001 that's why you don't want to come to church because of no transport and because i have to trek from songo to this place 
how can I when I did not kill Jesus how should I threat you know you know because I'm going to church when I did not kill Jesus so I'm not am I you know you are also you are by Jesus all of us killing it's only those who are embedded that are free from the judgment is somebody following me now you see and you cannot make that kind of sacrifice that's your own suffering for now oh you are looking for a job you are here to get a job that's your own suffering for now and yet you are shifting your steps from the steps of Christ you are no longer ready to follow the footprints of Jesus the way he went is the way I must go the route he passed through is the route I must pass through what shall separate us out of sport talking from the love of Christ is it persecution is it hunger is it sword because they want to kill you is it this is it that what is that thing that will make you to deny Jesus he said in all these things there is nothing present there is nothing to come brother this is what we are calling to sister oh my marriage is facing problem my marriage this and that and that's that i'm even tired i am this and that for the sake of christ there are suffering things we have to pass through there are challenges and that's what i said but we must walk in his steps we must be ready to walk in his steps don't preach jesus of prosperity alone preach jesus of suffering somebody slip in there praise the lord don't look at jesus who prosper look at jesus who suffered and said it may warrant us also suffering if it comes that we must not run for it i look at the christianity of this age i just looked at look some of these people that are when i see people you know worshiping god and this and that our church i just, I just look at it this one's with one persecution you will not see them in the church again shout hallelujah and that's why i pray that god should purge the church from the whole living let the lord purge the church shout hallelujah somebody is sleeping shout hallelujah i want to tell you even in our church god is purging us we are praying that god should purge us of old character of the old man of the old behavior there are people who are in the church and i tell you you see the old man has not left them praise god somebody look at many you know i was talking to somebody i was also saying it this morning i said look at some of our politicians are you there Look at some of our politicians. He said, Ah, he's, the husband is a Muslim. The woman is a Christian. And he's even a pastor. How did she become a pastor? Somebody follow me? My thoughts? How did she become pastor? Ah, he's going to that church now. He's ah, the husband is man now. Now, the husband who has been a Muslim has never changed from being a Muslim. Let's say she got married to the husband as a nominant christian you, you understand somebody's not born again now will now she come to the husband one day and said uh, Elijah, i give my life to jesus yesterday are you following me now and it's okay i am not going to this church i'm going i'm now going to susan sons church where they preach the truth is somebody listening to me now he's not going to that church he now grew in that church quote and unquote and is now made a pastor and this is the same person now is a politician at the same time is he go to the house of assembly go to senate go to house of rep are you following my thoughts now and of course he's there now you know what it means your husband is a governor he's not born again and you say you are born again you are a pastor and of course you also are following the same trend all right now how did you emerge to be a pastor god have mercy upon churches 
that some of the pastors that we are ordaining, they are not because it's not because of their cloud, it's not because of their personality, it's not because of the money they have. But I want to say now, how did you navigate political terrain not as an appointment but elective position? If that person is not staunch standing in Christ, somebody follow my thoughts. I'm only telling you reflections. What I think in my heart, I reflect in about things. Well, I'm right, but I'm not right. That's another thing. Shout hallelujah. If some of our politicians and they now begin after they are you know looking at their credibility, does he have he, does he have certificate? Does he not have certificate? Does he have uh, is he the member of so so and so? Is he is not a member of so so and so? Does he go you know, there's all the kind of stuff going on? Shameful things going on. So if I do not have certificate, my wife will not know that I don't have certificate. If I am a crook, my husband will not know that I'm a crook, and my wife will not know that I'm a crook. Ah, I say, ah, somebody, hey, he used to deal with contraband goods when he's in Kenika, Kenika, in, in, in working in immigration. Hey, he wa- was involved in, in a pastor's camp when he was working as a, as a custom. I'm not mentioning anybody. Oh, praise God. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. And when I was in the custom, he did so, so, and so, and so thing. And the wife, we can say, hey, he's born again now, and this and that. And say, now, sh- all those kind of illegality that was going on and such a person want to tell us that my husband is a good man somebody get what my thoughts may the Lord help us there are songs we sing in those days we don't sing again he's not an easy road we are traveling to heaven for many other thorns on the way it's not an easy road but the savior is with us his presence gives us joy every day no no it's not an easy road no no it's not an easy road about Jesus will beside us and bright is the journey and life things every below. The last thing that says, though I have often food so and weary from travel. Though I, I often bow down in care, I bet a day is coming when home in the glory we rest in perfect peace over there. No. not an easy road no no it's not an easy road but Jesus will beside us and bright is the journey and life in every hand Christians of 10 years, 15 years to this time, they don't know that song. They are not even interested to know it. If they are going to sing it, they will change it. It is an easy road. We are traveling to. They will tell you it is easy. They will tell us that those of us that sing that we lack common sense. We don't know how to walk. That's why I say it is not easy. You have to pass through.